all right you guys welcome and welcome in. i miss you guys i love you so much it's so good to be back on here so let's just jump straight into this video today this topic is going to be about and i got my notes down here y'all know so i don't forget nothing but this topic is going to be about mandatory spiritual items for your car all right so just like we have different things that we keep around our house and things like that we also need to keep certain items around our house to keep us protected to keep good energies just to keep things flowing okay so this is going to be a super quick video take what resonates leave what doesn't you do not have to get all these things it really just depends on your personal preference and what really clicks to you so if you hear me saying something and it resonates with you then that's for you if you feel like mm, i don't know about that then just keep it moving and go with the one that works for you all right enough of my rambling so the first thing that i recommend is a um evil eye pendant so like the kind that come on the string um some type of evil eye it could either be um i know i had someone one of my friends had like a evil eye prayer she put on her um mirror or you can I, I like to have the little small ones you could just put them around the car you really could just use one um you could even really have the decals on the outside however you want to do it but um having a evil eye symbol i feel like it's one of the very basic and like if it had to be any that were mandatory i would definitely say i don't want to go without that one right okay so that's number one our next one is uh cinnamon broom so the little minis of course i mean if you want to get a really big one and put in your car then by all means but i'm always trying to like minimalize the things that i have in my car because i feel like i just keep too much shit too much stuff in my car it's ridiculous but yeah so a cinnamon broom the little small mini ones i like to hang it around um, where i drive at however cinnamon brooms help to bring in blessings abundance prosperity you can sweep away negative energy off yourself off your seats if you have other people that come into your vehicle if you do uber lyft things like that you have friends or people that have to ride in your car that you necessarily don't always align with their energy and that can be anybody it's always somebody you never know what a person's going through so you never know what energy that you may receive from that person in that moment so you can take your cinnamon broom uh, when they get out your car and wipe your car wipe your seat clear away the energy um also if you have someone in your car and you want to get rid of them and you like and i know it's like well why would you have somebody in your car you want to get rid of but you never know what type of situations you could really end up in and i've done uber and live and things like that so even to like an energy can get stuck so you can turn your cinnamon broom upside down and that way it removes unwanted energies unwanted vibes negative energies negative vibes from your vehicle um and that's really helpful. You can also do that in your house with cinnamon brooms as well. If you have unwanted guests, unwanted spirits, things like that, turn your cinnamon broom upside down. Um, all right, so y'all know I'm going to say crystals. Y'all knew that was going to come up. Crystals! Yes, crystals, crystals, crystals. I keep crystals by my bed. I keep crystals in my car. I keep crystals in my purse, in my bra, in my bathroom, in certain soaps, like crystal energy charge charging things up i keep it in different places so i'm definitely going to keep them in my car so um ones that you want to have in your car protection i keep a protection um crystal in my car that is the most important to me because um i've been in a lot of car accidents so i just know how dangerous and how very scary it can be and you want to be protected um also you just never know you know what i mean and cars can be fatal car wrecks can be fatal things that happen in the car can be very serious so you want to have your protection stone um also a good stone 
if you have uh if you're a person that gets anxiety you deal with anxiety sometimes i'm out and i can get really overwhelmed i might have to go into the grocery store um because if you're a person that get excuse the fourth of july is the third but they you know niggas. but yeah if you're a person that doesn't like the grocery store and you feel like you feel anxiety or you feel it's just overwhelming it's not just you it's a lot of us like that and and the most empaths or when you go into settings and things like that clubs and stuff the energy can be so heavy so it's like i have a few different stones um I know I like to keep uh, malachite, and that's like my uh, before I make like an entrepreneur's decision because I like to, I like to make a lot of different decisions in the car. I like the car; it's just relaxing um, when I don't have to just when I don't have to be anywhere and I could just ride and go on my nature walk or whatever case may be. I like the car, so um, I like to have my green adventuring, my malachite when it comes to my entrepreneurial new opportunities, my tigers. I I hold those. And keep those to bring myself um, into a path of those type of energy. Um, also, to help with my anxiety, uh, I think it's Labradorite. Um, and it's a few other stones you can Google and see. And I just hold those. Um, and just to have your stones with you, I just feel the difference. Like, one of my friends, she carried around my purse uh, one time. And, like, I had so many crystals in there. Like, because it's just ridiculous. Like, I'm going to do which crystals I have in my purse one day. But I probably don't even know all the names for them. I have so many. But, um, but yeah. So, um, and she was just like, oh, my God, I just feel so good with your purse. Like, I just feel different. I just, I just feel. And you just feel it. You just feel it. You know? So yeah, um, the next thing that I suggest is some type of Florida water or some type of like something cleansing, okay? Uh, I will have, I'm putting a lot of new things on my site, so you guys go check it out. I'm going to make sure it's in the description box. Um, but yeah, and I'm, I have a course on there I'm going to tell you guys about. I can't wait. I'm going to drop that video at the end of this week, around the 9th or something. But, um, Florida water, okay? So, you want to have you some Florida water or some type of cleansing mist. I feel like the cleansing mist is like, you need to have that. Guarantee. Come on. Stop playing. You know you need the cleansing mist. Then, um, on the side of your cleansing mist, you want to have something like a abundance spray, uh, dragon's blood spray, um, new opportunity, like something else domination whatever you're working on you know what i mean like love spell type of like jezebel like spray whatever it is you want to have one other one okay you want to just have another one okay so that's what i recommend um now the next thing another good one too uh chakra balancing mist in the car is good um now those are like the basics of what i would say that you need to have in your car but if you is just, you know, you're not just a spiritual being, you're a witch. You're out here. You're out here working, getting work done. You you know what I'm saying? You working with the spiritual and the physical, okay? You out here really putting that work in. I recommend to have baggies. Little clear Ziploc bags, little small bags. Don't even have to be Ziploc bags. It's some type of bags, little small bags. You can even uh, save like you know when you buy nose rings and stuff the little ones they give you at the beauty supply store keep those the little ones you might get some jewelry in and you might get some in the store and keep them and then when, as you're out you may see things different herbs different flowers different plants that you might want to take a little bit with you dirt you may be somewhere where you need the dirt and you can put it in your baggie in your purse and you're prepared to get the dirt okay i'm telling you that's why I said it's only for the network. And some of y'all like, dirt, what the fuck? Dirt? Why I wanna get why I wanna get that? Hey. Hey. The ones that get it, get it. The ones that don't, don't. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> I talk about that on my on my channel. So go ahead and get well versed with my videos. Again, if you are new, welcome in. Join the family. Like, I'm so let me not get off track, but I'm just so overly emotional and grateful for you guys. And I just, 
the placements of Mercury right now are really serving me and it's so exciting. I'm getting so much work done and um, I did so much on my site. I will have so much up by the next like two weeks. It's going to probably be completed everything I wanted to do. So it's exciting. I'm so thankful for this Mercury placement right now. It's helping me as a Virgo sun focus. 1010 10, completion. Look at them giving me signs. Listen, you have to be open, not even just to listen um, vocally, but to listen spiritually. Okay, I'm not gonna get to deep. I'm not gonna get to deep. I'm not gonna get to deep because I have so many videos to record. I need to get to it. <laughs> Woo! Anyways, if you're new, I was just gonna say thank you so much. You know, go ahead and join the family. Hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button. Hit the hit the dislike button if you don't like it either. Either way, it's engagement, okay? Either way. Positive and negative and everything, okay? A little balance, a little balance. Now, the next thing I recommend is coins. Coins, pennies, quarters, nickels, dimes, especially pennies. Uh, if you are in the field, the magical field, that is. <laughs> the magical field. I don't know. I just feel like. When I said that, it was really given what it needed to give. So, the magical field. I know you're like, this girl did some shrooms again. What's going on? <laughs> I need a dose. Anyways, um, you may be going in the on the crossroads, in the by roads, in the in the uh, how about I say funeral homes? <laughs> what? The funeral homes and the cemetery. Okay, so. Everything is give and take. When you're going to the crossroad to leave a work in, um, when you're going to anywhere to leave a work in, because it's not just the crossroads and the uh, graveyard that we leave work in, you know? So when you're going anywhere, you want to give. You want to give, give, give. Everything is energy. And especially when you go to the graveyard and the crossroad, you want to make sure that you're giving. You want to make sure that you have their coins because that's what's required. Okay? And then the last thing that I would say is incense. I'm telling you guys, it might sound crazy. Some people are like, you burn incense in a car. How the fuck do you breathe? But I, it is just, and not just incense, but like incense, sage, sage mixes like sage and lavender, sage and shasta, shasta um, or palo santos, but burning in the physical smoke entering my body of like my dragon's blood incense my palo santos is really a vibration uh uplifter and it really helps me to snap out of it when i'm whenever i'm dealing because that's another thing i want to tell you guys too like it's not that you're going to get to a point where it's just like you know you never think a negative thought you never question anything no acknowledge those thoughts acknowledge those feelings acknowledge those things and then after you acknowledge it, acknowledge it for what it is. It's either ego, it's lack, it's it's whatever it is. It doesn't belong to you. And then choose what you decide to put yourself with, okay? So incense and sage and things like that really help me personally. That smoke, the smell, opening the window to release that energy. It just feels good. It feels right. It works for me. And it's something that I definitely recommend to you guys. So that is all. That is it. That is all that I have for this video, you guys. I love you so much. Um, I'm sorry I've been away. I've been... This Mercury, I'm telling you, Mercury for my Virgo signs. If you have something that you want to do right now, separate yourself, okay? Um, when Mercury is in good placements for my Virgos, and this is just... If you just came for the video for the spiritual items, a hey, peace out but for everybody look where your mercury is i mean look where your virgo is when you're especially for my virgo suns moon and risings and heavy placements or shiro or anything like that when mercury is in a good place it is good for you it is good for you wherever that area is it is helping you to expand to grow um, for me, when Mercury is in a good place, as me being a Virgo sun, I am able to, like, a lot of times I'm not able to sit down and focus and get my notes done and come up with content and get work on my website. Like, a lot of times that shit is really fucking frustrating. Like, 
it is really frustrating and it's really hard a lot of the other places that i have for me to work hard because i know not even that for me to work hard because first of all like we're saying we know working hard doesn't equal success but some things you do have to work hard at you do have to and what is hard to me may not be hard to you you may be like oh what a website oh what this this that eh, eh. and then with me it's like oh this this and that and it, you know so for everybody it's hard it's different so for me when virgo i mean when mercury's in a bad place i can't focus I can't get things done. I can't. I physically can't. I will try to do a website all day. I will try to do things all day. And it just, either I will get it done and it's just not going to be what it could have been. Or it just will be painfully getting done. And I love to get things done in the season of ease. So when Virgo, um, I mean, when Mercury is in a great place for my Virgos, Y'all pay attention to y'all Virgo placements and where y'all Mercury and stuff is in y'all chart and align it to see that where you can get things done at this time, where you can tap into that focused Mercury energy, where you can really just get things done. All right, you guys, that's all I have for you. Peace. I love you. If this really resonated with you and I really helped you, go ahead and shoot me a tip of appreciation to my Cash App. Also, add me on my Instagram. It's a lot of, it's a lot of fakes. It's only one real, okay? Moon Magic. Magic is spelled M-A-G-I-C-K. And then Healer, one R. Nothing more, nothing less. The pages that fake to be me are really, really close. So make sure that you, I don't double up on nothing. I don't double up on nothing, okay? So yeah. And subscribe if you're one of my new family members. I love you guys. Till next time. Peace.